English Language Academy. Practice makes perfect. Listen and practice. Ice hockey is one of the most popular winter sports. It is very popular in cold weather countries like Canada, Russia, and the Czech Republic. In those countries, kids play ice hockey on frozen ponds and rivers. Things you need to play ice hockey are hockey skates, a hockey stick, and a puck. Ice hockey is a great winter sport. Listen and practice. My hometown. Hi, my name's Jeremy, and I live in Kyoto. I'm from the U.S., but I work for an international company here. We make video games. Kyoto is a great city. It's really cosmopolitan. People from all over the world live here. Every Friday after work, my wife and I go to Nishiki Market and have delicious Japanese food. It's my favorite. The weather can be really hot in the summer and cold in the winter, but the spring and fall are beautiful, especially after the rainy season. I love art, and Kyoto has many good art museums. We can see modern art or ancient art in the same day. My favorite is ancient Japanese art. There are also beautiful gardens all over Kyoto that are like works of art. I also go bicycling with my wife. Sometimes we bicycle through the university, and sometimes we bike near Nijo Castle. Why doesn't everyone want to live in Kyoto? It's the best place in the world. Listen and practice. Turning pain to gain. Seven years ago, Mackenzie Barrup hurt her knee. She was just ten years old. A week later, the pain was still there. The pain didn't stop. Then she found out about a disease called RSD. This disease tells the brain her knee is still injured, even though it isn't. There is no cure for the pain. Her knee feels terrible all the time. Sometimes Mackenzie felt so awful that she stayed in bed for months. It was very difficult to walk. Her doctors tried everything: medicine, exercise, and other treatments. Nothing worked, except books. Mackenzie read lots of books. The books helped her stop thinking about the pain, and she decided to help other children forget their pain too. She found out about a treatment center for children nearby. The center had a new library, but no books. She asked all her friends and her parents' friends to give books. Then she put ads in newspapers and made a website. Mackenzie's goal was to give 300 books to the library, but she soon had 3,000 books, and more were on the way. Today, that number is more than 40,000. She started an organization. Sheltering books now helps children in many states in the U.S. Mackenzie's knee still hurts all the time, but she feels better because she's helping other kids with their pain. Listen and practice. The benefits of chocolate. Most of us have a sweet tooth, and a favorite form of confectionery is chocolate.
whether this comes in the form of sweets, chocolate bars, or cakes. The huge range of chocolate products on display in sweet shops and supermarkets shows us how popular chocolate is. Indeed, some of us are so fond of it that we become chocoholics. We are regularly told that a diet containing too much sugar and too much fat is bad for us. And chocolate contains a great deal of both of these. Thus, we have got used to the idea that eating chocolate is a sinful pleasure. Eating chocolate often makes us feel good. Even some health experts do not deny this, because it is thought to have a biochemical effect on the part of the brain that is concerned with pleasure. If you are feeling depressed, some chocolate can be a real tonic which cheers you up instantly. Unfortunately, this effect is transitory and you soon feel down again. Nutritionists have tended to concentrate on the negative side effects of chocolate, pointing out that the combination of a high fat content and a high sugar content can be a cause of obesity in people who overindulge in it. They also remind us that foods which are high in fat can lead to heart disease. Chocolate is also said to cause headaches in some people and is considered to be one of the main triggers of migraine. After such bad news from dietitians, people who love to binge on chocolate will be relieved to hear that some doctors have now discovered some benefits in chocolate. Recent research suggests that chocolate, like aspirin, can delay blood clotting, making it potentially useful in preventing thrombosis. It has also been found that chocolate, like fruit and vegetables, is rich in flavonoids, which help to prevent heart attacks and strokes. At last, there is some good news for chocolate eaters. They can enjoy this delicious treat without feeling guilty, safe in the knowledge that it could be improving their health. Listen and practice. We wear clothes because we want to be comfortable in hot, or cold weather. In hot weather, tight clothes are uncomfortable. If we wear loose clothes, the air can move around our bodies and help us to stay cool. The men above live in a hot country. They are wearing long, white shirts called dishdashas. White clothes are cool in hot weather. The men's turbans and scarves protect their heads from the sun. In colder countries, people also cover their heads. This is because they don't want to lose heat. In places where the winter is very cold, People wear hats made of wool or fur. Heat from the body stays in the wool or fur and keeps people warm. Listen and practice. Glass and ice. Most buildings are made of concrete, bricks, metal, or wood. Some buildings use different materials. Biosphere 2 in Arizona, in the USA, is made of glass and metal. It's nearly as big 
as two and a half American football fields. Inside, there's a rainforest, an ocean, a desert, a farm, and places for people to live and work. It's a research center. In a village in Sweden, near the Arctic, there is a hotel made of ice called Ice Hotel. The hotel is open from December to April. It has 80 rooms. There are ice sculptures in the rooms. The beds, chairs, and tables are also made of ice. Even the drinking glasses are made of ice. Every year, Ice Hotel is built again with new ice. Listen and practice. Pasta is the most typical food in Italy. Italian pasta is made from wheat flour and comes in many different shapes. For example, spaghetti is long and straight. Spirali pasta is a spiral shape. And Stellini pasta is a star shape. What type of pasta do you prefer? Pizza is another typical dish in Italy. Italian pizza is usually made with wheat flour, tomato, and mozzarella cheese. Some people also add meat, seafood, or vegetables. Most pizzas are round, but in Rome they also make special square pizzas. Listen and practice. Rice is a very important Korean food, and most Koreans eat some rice every day. They often eat rice with dishes of meat, seafood, and vegetables. Koreans also use rice to make soup, rice cakes, and a sweet dessert drink called sike. Do you like spicy food? You should try some Korean kimchi. It's a spicy dish made with cabbage, onions, garlic, chili peppers, and salt. Many people have their own special recipe. Most Koreans eat some kimchi every day. It's a very healthy food because it has lots of vitamins. Listen and practice. Come to the carnival. The carnival in Rio de Janeiro, in Brazil, is one of the biggest festivals in the world. It's always in February or March. There's a parade with big floats. There's music in the streets. People wear colorful costumes. They dance and have fun. The carnival in Rio de Janeiro is all day and all night. Many people don't go to bed that night. Listen and practice. Food chains. All living things need food. In most ecosystems, plants use sunlight to make their food from carbon dioxide in the air and water. Animals eat plants, or other animals that eat plants. Decomposers are living things that feed on things like dead leaves or dead animals. Food chains Show us how plants and animals in an ecosystem work together. 
They show us what eats what in an ecosystem. In the food chain above, a grasshopper eats grass, a snake eats the grasshopper, and a buzzard eats the snake. When the buzzard dies, its body falls onto the land. There, decomposers like bacteria and fungi feed on the buzzard. When they do this, some of the nutrients from the buzzard's body go into the land. Plants, like grass, then use these nutrients to help them to grow. Listen and practice. Rivers and waterfalls. Rivers usually begin as streams in mountains. The water comes from rain or snow. All rivers then go to the ocean. Big rivers are very strong. When the ground under a river is soft, the river makes valleys. When the ground under it is hard rock, there are waterfalls or rapids. One incredible waterfall is the Iguazu Falls between Argentina and Brazil. Iguazu means big water in an old language of South America. Listen and practice. There's more water in the River Amazon than in any other river in the world. It begins in the mountains in Peru and Ecuador. Then it goes through the rainforest in Brazil and to the Atlantic Ocean. There are no bridges on the Amazon. First, the river goes through rainforest, and there are no roads. Then, Near the ocean, the river is very wide, so people can't build bridges. They cross the river by boat. The Amazon is the home of one of the longest snakes, called anacondas. Some grow to nine meters long. Listen and practice. Mammals. Mammals are the only animals that give birth to their young. They don't lay eggs like fish, amphibians, reptiles, or birds do. Mammal mothers are special because they produce milk for their babies to drink. Today, we can find many different types of mammal. Some live on land, like horses. Camels and monkeys. Others live in the ocean, like whales and dolphins. Bats are special because they are the only mammals that can fly. Did you know that you are a mammal too? Listen and practice. Some animals live in fresh water. They live in rivers and lakes. Fish, frogs, beavers, and ducks live in fresh water. Big animals also live in fresh water. The Nile crocodile lives in rivers and lakes in Africa. When large animals come to drink. It pulls them under the water and eats them. Land animals need water too. They drink water. In the African savanna, animals like zebras, giraffes, and elephants come to the waterhole to drink. The savanna can be very hot and dry.
and these animals cannot live without water. Hippos need water to keep their skin healthy. They stay in water all day to keep cool. If they don't have water, they get sunburnt. Listen and practice. Earthquakes and tsunamis. Usually, Earth's crust moves very slowly, only a few millimeters every year. Sometimes, two pieces of the crust move suddenly in different directions. And then there's an earthquake. Earthquakes are dangerous because buildings sometimes fall down. When there's an earthquake, people in buildings go under a heavy table, or they stand between two rooms. These are good ideas. They can help to keep people safe. There are earthquakes under the ocean too. Usually, they are small and not dangerous. Sometimes, an earthquake under the ocean makes a giant wave called a tsunami. Tsunamis can be very dangerous. After a tsunami, there are often floods. There's water everywhere. Houses, cars, and trees are in the water. The water isn't clean, so many people are sick. In 2004, there was a very big tsunami in the Indian Ocean. Many people died. Listen and practice. Mountains. And lakes. The biggest mountain chain in the world is the Himalayas in Asia. It began when two pieces of Earth's crust met and moved up. They began to move about fifty million years ago, and they are moving now, very slowly. The top of Mount Everest in the Himalayas is the highest place on Earth. It's about nine kilometers above the ocean. Everest is very big, and it's getting bigger. The top of Everest goes up about five millimeters every year, because Earth's crust is moving all the time. Near high mountains, there are often deep lakes. The deepest lake in the world is Lake Baikal in Russia. It's more than one thousand six hundred meters deep. Scientists are exploring the lake in small submarines. Lake Baikal began when pieces of Earth's crust moved and made a deep hole. Water from three hundred and thirty rivers goes into Lake Baikal. There's more water here than in all the Great Lakes in North America. Listen and practice. Making medicines. The medicines that are made in laboratories and factories are often copies of medicines made from plants. Malaria is a disease that causes fever and can kill people. People can get it when an insect called a mosquito bites them. To cure malaria, people first made a medicine from quinine. Quinine is a substance that comes from a rainforest tree. Then scientists started to make copies of this medicine in a laboratory. 
Today, quinine drugs are made without plants. Thousands of medicines have been made from rainforest plants. If people cut down rainforests, we will lose plants that could make more medicines. Listen and practice. Ocean animals. Lots of animals live in water. Some animals live in salt water. They live in seas and oceans. The biggest ocean animal is the blue whale. It can be more than 30 meters long and 200 metric tons. It eats very small ocean animals called krill. It can eat four metric tons of krill in a day. Blue whales live in most of the oceans. The blue whale is the biggest animal on Earth. It can be as big as 25 elephants. Many other animals live in salt water. There are sharks and lots of other fish. All ocean animals need water. Water gives them food and oxygen. Jellyfish are not fish. They are invertebrates. They don't have a skeleton. They need water to support their bodies. Listen and practice. Traditional medicines. In many places around the world, people use mostly traditional medicines. Traditional medicines are medicines that people have used for hundreds of years or longer. Traditional medicines are made from plants and from animals like insects. For example, most people in Africa use traditional medicines, and a lot of people in Asia do too. In some places, people use traditional medicines because they don't live near a hospital or because traditional medicines are cheap. In other places, people use both traditional medicines and medicines that are made by scientists in laboratories. Listen and practice. When we think of deserts, we imagine rocks and sand and a place that's very hot and dry. It's difficult to live in a hot desert, but some plants and animals are adapted to this ecosystem. Deserts are dry because it almost never rains. Desert plants collect the rain and store it so that they can live during the dry season. Cactus plants have stems that become fat when they are full of water. They also have sharp spikes to stop thirsty animals breaking the stems to drink the water inside. Listen and practice. I started using eBay a few years ago. I lost my cell phone and needed to get a new one. New phones are more than $300 from the cell phone company, and I didn't have much money. So I decided to buy one on eBay. I started to bid on a phone, and it was really fun. I bid $50, and I was winning. But in the last minute, someone bid $52 and won. I decided to try again with another phone. This time I won. It only cost me $45. The phone came in the mail a week later. It's a little old, 
but it works well, and I saved $255. Now that's a great deal. Listen and practice. Making music. Music is very popular all around the world. It's a very important part of life in Nigeria, in Africa. People here sing, dance, and play music at important times in their lives. In traditional Nigerian music, there is singing, and people play instruments. There are percussion instruments like drums, bells, and rattles. There are other instruments like pipes and trumpets, too. Nigerian children sometimes make their own instruments. They make drums from tin cans and pipes from plants. They also make rattles from fruits. Lots of different types of modern music are popular in Nigeria, too. Some modern music, like jazz, reggae, and rock, came from traditional African music. Listen and practice. Spring. Spring is a very pretty season. Maybe it's the prettiest season of all. It's usually sunny, and there are lots of flowers. In Japan, people love cherry blossom. These pink flowers open in spring, between January and April. People have picnics under the cherry trees. They sit and eat, and they look at the cherry blossom. In Ghana, the rainy season starts in May. This is a good time for farmers, so they have a big festival called Homowo. There are parades in the streets with music and dancing. Vila Franca do Lima is in Portugal. In May, there's a festival here, with lots of flowers. Girls carry flowers on their head. The flowers are heavy. Listen and practice. Three Kings In the story of Jesus Christ, three good people visited Jesus when he was a baby. They gave him presents. Later, Christians called these people the Three Kings. In January, Christians have a festival called Twelfth Night. It's called Twelfth Night because it's twelve nights after Christmas. At this time, Christians think about the three kings who visited Jesus with their presence. In some countries, people eat a big cake. Twelfth Night is a big festival in Spain. There are lots of parades, with people in costumes. People throw candy to children in the streets. On Twelfth Night, Spanish children put their shoes under the Christmas tree. In the morning, they find presents in their shoes.
Listen and practice. Oceans. On Earth, there is more ocean than land. The Pacific Ocean is the biggest ocean. It's bigger than Africa. Did you know that there are mountains and valleys under the ocean? Some of these mountains are bigger than the biggest mountains on land. In the deepest parts of the ocean, the water is 10 kilometers deep. The water in the ocean is always moving. Waves hit the land and break the rocks. Sometimes, big pieces of rock fall into the ocean. They leave big cliffs, like the beautiful Uluwatu Cliffs in Bali, in Indonesia. Where the ocean is warm, we sometimes find coral. Coral is made of millions of very small animals that make hard covers around themselves. When the animals die, the hard covers make the coral reef. The Great Barrier Reef near Australia is the biggest coral reef in the world. It's 2,600 kilometers long. Sea turtles, Dolphins and many other amazing animals live there. Listen and practice. Plastic. Plastic is newer than a lot of other materials. No one really knows how long it takes to decompose. Maybe up to 1,000 years. Around the world, people make more than 200 million metric tons of plastic every year. All this plastic is probably still on Earth. We don't recycle much plastic because it's hard to sort the different types of plastic. And there aren't many factories that recycle plastic. We can recycle plastic from bottles and from parts of refrigerators and cars. People sort the different types of plastic and then they take them to a plastic recycling factory. Different factories recycle different types of plastic. At the factory, machines clean the plastic. And cut it into small pieces. Other machines melt the plastic and clean it again. Then, machines cut this clean plastic into small pellets. Other factories use these pellets to make new plastic things. We can use recycled plastic to make phones, clothes, chairs, toys, and much more. Listen and practice. Metal. There are lots of different metals, and they all come from rocks. To get most metals out of rocks, people have to use machines to make the rocks very, very hot. The machines use a lot of energy. It's good to recycle metals because we save this energy. Metal is a good material to recycle because we can recycle it again and again. We can recycle all metals, but we recycle different metals in different ways. Let's look at aluminum. Aluminum is the metal in most drinks cans. It's also in planes, cars, bicycles, computers, buildings, and things that we cook with. At the recycling factory, 
machines cut the waste aluminum into small pieces. Then, very hot air blows off all the words and pictures on the metal. Next, machines melt the metal and make bars. Other factories melt these bars to make new metal things. Listen and practice. Be careful. Mountains can be dangerous. You can fall or get lost. In the mountains, helicopters come and help people. The weather in the mountains can be nice and sunny. But it can be cloudy and rainy too. High in the mountains, it is cold, so take warm clothes. Take water when you walk in the mountains. Don't drink water from a river. Take food. It's good to eat cheese, bread, fruit, and chocolate. Take a map and a compass too. Have fun in the mountains, but be careful. Listen and practice. Ice and snow. In the mountains. You can see rivers of ice. A river of ice is called a glacier. What makes a glacier? In winter, lots of snow falls on the mountains. Then, new snow falls on the old snow and makes ice. The ice. Moves down the mountain in a glacier. Glaciers move very, very slowly. In some glaciers, there are big crevasses. Crevasses are holes in the ice. Crevasses are dangerous. In snowy weather. People don't see a crevasse. Then, they can fall in. Avalanches are dangerous too. In an avalanche, lots of snow falls from the mountain. It can fall on people. Listen. And practice. Mammals and birds. A mammal is an animal that drinks milk from its mother and breathes air. Most mammals, like people and elephants, live on land. Some mammals live in the ocean. Because they feed and move in water. Ocean mammals are different from land mammals in many ways. The sea lion's body has a shape like a fish, so it can swim very fast. It doesn't have front legs, but it has flippers that pull it through the water. Some birds live, feed, and sleep on the ocean. They catch fish by diving under the water. Some birds only come to the seashore to make nests and to lay eggs.